Kaya, you're through to your first Australian Open quarterfinal. Talk us through your emotions following tonight's match. I think I would be more happy if I won after um, two or three match points. <laughs> it was really close that I lost the match, so I feel a bit exhausted right now. It was very difficult. We'll go to questions in room. We'll start with Ben from the New York Times. Yeah, Kaya, what happened to those first set of match points? Was what was going through your was that just getting tight or what what was happening? I was really tight, yeah. My hand was shaking when I started serving. <laughs> and I didn't make any first serves in and that uh, added uh, to the pressure. And then how did you how did you regroup? How did you recover from that sort of this moment? I almost didn't. So <laughs> she had a match point too. But uh, I guess I was just lucky at the end, so close. Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of crazy drama happening. There was seagulls, birds stopping the match, and there was the lights came on, the umpire obviously calling the match early, the momentum swings. So how did you yeah, stay? Yeah, it was quite crazy. Yeah, how did you stay calm with all that going on too? I think I felt uh, a bit cold after the seagull uh, scene, but... Uh, Otherwise, it wasn't that bad. And actually, I was happy to start early, not uh, that late. What what does this Australian Open quarterfinal mean to you? You were saying on court that you thought you would never complete the group of the four Grand Slam quarterfinals, but now you have. So what, what does that mean to you, that accomplishment? Um, I don't know. It just feels great <laughs> that, uh, that I got the Australian quarterfinal too. Because uh, uh, I also didn't think that I will play well in Australia. Because during my career, I have heard that Australia doesn't suit to everybody. And I thought, um, I'm just the one who doesn't really like playing here. But last two years, uh, I have played really, really well here. What is it about Grand Slams in general that you think makes you play so well? Because you've had a lot of these runs at Grand Slams when you haven't been seated and been able to go, go deep. Uh, uh, maybe I'm more focused on Grand Slams because I like big tournament and the Grand Slams are the most important tournaments. Also, I like that we have day offs after matches. Um, and uh, the Grand Slams are in big cities. <laughs> a, ni a nice atmosphere. Yeah, I guess that's it. Are you still doing any truck driving? Uh, I do if I can uh, in the winter when it's when there are ice roads. But last year I, I couldn't do. Maybe this year. And I guess uh, sorry, I must interrupt. Um, what what is it? You've been to the quarterfinals before. Now still, you got you're waiting for a first semifinal. Um, what do you think it will take to to get there? Uh, you play Iga Swiatek next, and and what do you think about that sort of opportunity uh, right now I don't know because I need to recover <laughs> it's, uh, we'll see how, how I feel but um, I think the adrenaline will help if I might feel tired we'll see we'll move online to questions in English if you have a question please use the raise your hand function on your toolbar and we'll go to Courtney Nguyen from WTA Hi, Kaya. Uh, congratulations. Um, on the match, you said your hand started shaking a little bit uh, on the match points. It seemed like after that, you were taking a little bit of speed off of the serve and kind of focusing on placement. Is, is that accurate? What, what adjustments did you try to make because you were feeling a bit, a bit tight and a bit heavy in the hand? Uh, first, I start, uh, tried to hit a bit harder and with more speed, then it didn't go in, and then I started to hit a bit, a bit slower. I tried different things to think about on the serve, but I, I don't think any of them helped. <laughs> <laughs> and then leading up to that, before you had the match points, you were playing so well um, in the, the second and third sets. And I'm curious what you were telling yourself after the first set, because you were so close in the first set as well, that seemed to, to yeah, allow you to, to be able to play as well as you were up until that point. Uh, I thought I played well in the first set too. I just had one bad game, and I, I thought that I tried to continue, and uh, 
she might not play uh, that well or she might play amazingly well and then it's gonna end in two sets <laughs> but it didn't <laughs> <laughs> and then just in specifically um how familiar are you with Iga Sviantek's game uh have you do you watch her a lot um anything like that and what do you expect in the quarterfinals I have watched her but uh, I never played her and I don't know how her ball feels so we'll see <laughs> when I play her but uh, what I expect is to play good <laughs> thank you very much and congrats thank you